So this thing's a real pile of junk. We all know this. Dents all over it. Now I'm rusting around the roof. They didn't paint around the edge. It's totally ruined. Okay, we know that. This thing's ruined too. I don't know how many times I did this, but the steering box is now apart. Why? Because it's pissing out the pitman arm seal. I also noticed that it's super loose. It's super loose because the gears are worn on it. So I don't even know this part like you get a serviceable, I don't know. But like this thing needs like a new rack and like one of these things and it's like pretty damn worn. The teeth on it. And it's like worn. There's a lot of play in it side to side, you see in the bottom. But yeah, there's O ring, very easy to get this out. This O ring over here, the kit comes with it. And then I gotta pick these seals at the bottom. You could blow it out, but these are different than a Saginaw. Glad the needle bearing's okay in there. That goes bad as well. Hopefully it all goes back together though. There's a boatload of fluid in there, even in there too. Inside of your steering box. Yeah. Last time I took one apart, I couldn't get it back together, but then I learned a trick. The rack turned on it. Someone's making noise down the street. What else? There's no Wakanda lid. Let's go pick out these seals. And I don't really want to do car shit anymore, really. Hence, I didn't show you. Power steering line is leaking. Everything's gutted on this thing, though. Bolts are out. It's just a nightmare job, and I don't really want to show a nightmare job. It's pissing all over the place, like... Have to fill this thing up by the week now. It's getting ridiculous. There's the old line. We went through about four of those lines now. That one's leaking too. Cracked. Everything's just, just destroyed. This is a two-part seal though. This don't catch your needle bearing. I need two hands. Craftsman. Out of business. Somewhere it says Craftsman. There we go. It's the same thing as Snap-on. All they do is they stamp their name on it. Like Snap-on is the same exact one. And every other brand, it is, it's such a fraud. One out, if you notice that the lip side and a regular Saginaw goes in like this, on a Delphi box it goes in like that, so remember when you put it back in, that thing is cooked. And then I should have a snap ring in here, which I do. And then there's the other seal. I gotta get my snap ring pliers. Alright, snap ring. What was it, flat slide. <coughs> flat slide facing the seal, I believe. So exactly how it came out. Yeah, it's a flat side. It's a round side. Okay. Now we have our other seal. Is that a metal one or a plastic one? Oh, this thing's so fucked up. It's like walking in there. It just dry out, man. Second time this happened. Oh my. No. Resistance at all. Why is there a washer in the middle? Hold on. Did I get it all out? No, that's weird. There's a washer. It was like that. A washer. Okay. Now I got it all out. Yeah, there was a washer between it. That's weird. We'll have to see how the other one was. But yeah, this thing is cooked. Very dry and brittle. Alright, let's go try to put the new ones in. Blurry camera. You, you, you can like bl apparently blow out these seals, but I don't think you can on one of these kind of boxes. And shit, sorry for the blurriness. Blame Samsung. It was in there, so there's metal. There's a metal washer between this one. Um, what the snap ring snap ring puts that in the metal washer and that goes on like that All right, excellent. Yeah, that thing like fell apart dude. The plastic came off of it. It's like glued on Not anymore. Ha 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 Not anymore. All these kits are the uh, same AC Delco, Edelman, whatever Gates. It's the same as that company that makes them So yeah, we gotta clean this out and yeah Apparently, the if you seal, you put it in too far like I did, wasn't showing anything. It's fine because that seal will just push back at, out with the pressure, and it'll seal up against it when you first start it. 
but uh, if the other seal goes in that way, it definitely goes in a lot tighter than the old ones. They were dried out. Just make sure it's tapped in evenly, which I think it is. I hope it is. I want this leaking again. It's kind of eyeball your distances all the way around. And uh, I think it's good. Sure, if it's in tighter than the other ones. I don't want to go out with my hand. Let's try to stick this other thing back in there. You can put grease in there and stuff. I might not. I don't know yet. You get a new O-ring for the top. I believe you should really disconnect this before you mess with it, but I never do. It'll probably bite me in the ass. Yeah, exploded view kind of. Yeah. Interestingly enough, the O-ring that comes in the kit does not fit. They said it was too big. So that's cool. So the great thing about Condo Land, you know, you just kind of get screwed. You just kind of got to use what you have here, and everything is rigged and done crappily. But you know, I guess it's done. That's what matters, I guess. All right. Cram this back in the hole. I didn't get dark out yet. Still working. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about this. The pitman armor is not too bad, but the art of the spinning stud. I just spun the stud longer than I like to, and I totally forgot. What happens is you put your thing in the taper over here, and then you start using tools and turning it. it keeps on turning, and turning, and turning, and turning. You're not tightening it. You're not tightening it because it's spinning in there. But luckily, some ones like the OEM have a thing you can grab. I put a little 3 8 impact on it. I was buzzing there for like 30 seconds. It's probably nice wear marks at a hole in there. Oh man. I don't do this shit every day anymore. I forgot all about that though. Remember that bite me in the ass years ago. Tapered stud and a hole. Sometimes it just doesn't work. You gotta hold it. And then crank it with a hold it with a um, wrench. What a mess. I hate this place. This is no place to do this kind of work. This is it. This thing's good for the junkyard. Or, but now we don't have the vehicle anymore because it is drywall, so that's fine. I don't really care, but this is stupid shit in here. Now I'm left for the big mess to clean up, and happy days as always. Happy days. This, this is no place to be doing this. Just need a um, move, need a small shop and backyard. And done. Um, Till then, I don't care what breaks, I don't really give a shit. Let's let it die here. Bring it to the junkyard. And that's what the junkyard's for. Alright. More stuff to clean up. Big mess.